Hi there, my name is Tobias Tonzing. I'm a geophysicist working for Africa Energy Corp in Cape Town. Today I want to share a few thoughts on the Gazania prospect in Block 2B offshore South Africa. I've been working on this project for several years together with my colleagues Paul Bird and Heinz Pferdekamper and Jan Meyer. This is a picture of the Island Innovator semi-sub that has been contracted to drill the Gazania 1 exploration well later this year. The Orange Basin has recently received much attention due to the major light oil discoveries Venus and Graf. The Gazania prospect is located inboard of these discoveries along a coast parallel trend of rift graben in shallow water. Within Block 2b, these graben lie within the oil generating window, as evidenced by the AJ1 oil discovery. Let's look at Block 2b in a bit more detail. The block is around 3,000 square kilometers in size and within close proximity to South Africa's west coast. I like this block because it contains two rift graben that are located within the oil window, uh, which is not necessarily the case further north and south. Also, good quality oil was discovered and flowed to surface from the AJ1 well. This de-risks the oil play in the block to a large degree. Being located in shallow water of roughly 150 meters, the well costs and minimum commercial field size are much lower than in the deep water. Together with attractive fiscal terms, this makes a compelling case for drilling an exploration well. Here we have a map of the AJ Graben, showing the thickness of the Graben in green and the reservoir model in yellow. According to this reservoir model, sand prograded as a lacustrine delta from the south of the AJ Graben towards the north where AJ1 found oil. This can also be seen on the north-south seismic line where the reservoir section is shown in yellow. The reason why AJ1 oil discovery has not been developed is mainly due to poor reservoir quality. This is caused by the deep burial. However, towards the south of AJ1, the reservoir section becomes shallower and there are several faults evident on the seismic. The faulted area up dip of AJ1 is called the Gazania Prospect. Better reservoir quality is expected due to the shallower depth of burial, and the faults provide a chance of trapping oil in larger columns within the reservoir fairway. Being located directly up dip of AJ1, factors such as oil charge, migration and timing are de-risked which significantly improved the chance of success of Gazania 1. The waterfall diagram shows the resource estimates for Block 2b. In dark yellow are the volumes calculated for the Axial Delta prospects, which includes the Gazania prospect. This is the main target for the upcoming exploration well. In the case of success at Gazania 1, we would consider sidetracking the well to the south, beyond the fault into the Pelagonian prospect. Together, the Gazania and Pelagonian prospects could hold close to 200 million barrels of prospective resources. In addition to the Axial Delta prospects, several younger prospects have been mapped in the AJ Graben and are shown in red. One such prospect is located directly above Gazania and Pelagonium and is called the Macquiland. This prospect will also be tested by the Gazania 1 well as a secondary target and it's estimated to hold 186 million barrels of prospective resources. The AJ Graben could thus hold up to 600 million barrels of prospective resources on an unrisked basis. In addition to the AJ Graben, Block 2b also contains a Northern Graben, which is similar in size and geology. The block thus contains in excess of 1 billion barrels of unrisked prospective resources which would make it a highly attractive asset in the case of success at Gazania 1. I would like to conclude with a few words on South Africa, my home country. It is by far the most developed, diversified and technologically advanced economy in Southern Africa. However, we are heavily dependent on coal and imported liquid fuels at this stage. This needs to change and indigenous oil, gas and renewables are earmarked as growth and transition fuels. The government also has an urgent need to address high unemployment rates. 
local energy projects like a development in Block 2B can thus play an, an important role in South Africa's future. I see Gazania 1 as an exciting upcoming oil exploration well with a good chance of geological and commercial success. The Orange Basin will no doubt see an increase in exploration activity and future developments will alleviate Southern Africa's energy and unemployment issues. Thank you for your attention.